So I once had a coaching call with a woman that was speaking with me because she wanted to lose 30 to 40 pounds. And at that time, I was like a young gun. I was like, I'm going to get her the best results she's ever had in her life. And that's when she dropped a bomb on me. That all this logical, rational advice on eating less and moving more and all these tactics I was giving her weren't helping her because the real root of her weight gain happened because she was sexually abused as a kid and that weight she put on was there to protect her. And it was around this time where I had this humongous aha moment that forever changed the way I went about approaching my goals. Because with this person, I tried to change everything externally in terms of habits and none of that worked until we made some major shifts internally. And that led me to develop this dual goal setting philosophy that I would like to share with you in today's video. Hey guys, Alex Hine, author of the book, Master the Day. Now, also one of the things that I went through with this particular client and that I've been through many times to not only get clarity on my life and figure out how to reach my goals is through journaling. So one of the things we went through with her was the journaling exercise that made her figure out what were the barriers standing between where she was and where she wanted to be. Now, the first link in the description is a link to a free journaling e-course. You should get a free worksheet when you click that and enter your email. You'll also get a series of weekly emails on how I use journaling to improve my life. So you can check that out in the description. So the big mistake I made with this client and the big mistake that I realized I'd been making for a long time in my own life was this idea that all we have to do is change the external habits and then people will win at life. You know, all you have to do is give people the right financial advice and they'll become rich, successful, have savings or just do better. All you have to do is give people the right weight loss and fitness advice and they'll get fitter. Or all you have to do is give people the right relationship advice and then they'll attract their dream person and be in a happy relationship. But nowhere in my coaching with people specifically for weight loss and now with life and business did I ever see that that was true. Because more often than not, I found that there was a deeper inner emotional story stopping people from having the success they wanted. And when I realized that, I realized that all goal setting had to have both yin and yang. It had to have the non-material invisible beliefs that put that person in this place in the first place. And it also had to have the external habits and behaviors. And that the lack of any either one of those would result in failure. So you can think all day long and journal all day long and dig up your trauma all day long. But without the action, nothing matters. And if you're doing the action, but you keep failed you keep procrastinating you can't keep up with it it's just not working and it's a pattern then the inner stuff always has to be done so here are a few examples on how i applied this you know so when i coached all these people and after six months i realized i'd become more of a psychologist or a counselor or a psychotherapist rather than like a personal trainer and fitness coach that was kind of enlightening so i looked into my own life and i broke down three things i wanted to work on relationships, finances, and fitness. So here's how I broke it down into the yin-yang soul method. For relationships, I just wanted to be in a healthy relationship. I wanted to be in a loving relationship. I never felt the feeling of being in love before. And so the belief was that was blocking me was, you know, there's something wrong with me that's not allowing this to happen. Something unattractive about me to women. And so I said, you know what, Alex, you're great now but there are some things you probably have to work on in order to attract the kind of caliber of woman you want. And my habit was to spend one hour a week reading relationship books. Now, when it came to me getting fit and getting my dream body, I had to look at the belief that was stopping me that like, oh, I hate what I see in the mirror. I, I'm, I, I just don't like it. I don't like it. It makes me feel uncomfortable. So the belief that I had to get through was, you know what, dude, you're great now but you can still improve. And that became a healthy belief. And then my habit was, I'm just gonna cook daily aligned with my fitness goals. When it came to my financial life, my primary goal was to be able to start a business and make 5,000 a month so that I could quit my job and just do what I loved every day. And in my head, I was like, how am I gonna do this? This is so difficult. I haven't even made 5,000 a month at a job. You know, and my belief was, well, all right, let me just try it for a year. 
let me just dedicate one year of my life to this. And my habit was to dedicate one hour per day building my business and studying how to do business every day, dedicating mental psychic energy towards my goal. So I hope that helps you guys. I do think now, after having coached hundreds of people one-on-one and many thousands via email and online, that if you miss the yin and the yang, the soul approach, the emotional approach, and the physical, tactical, tangible approach, success and life improvement is very difficult because for so many of us, the reason we start and stop is because of a belief or an emotional reason, right? Someone who loves going to the gym is going to go every day or five, four days a week even if they're not getting results. And that's the reason why 15 years later, I'm still going to the gym four or five days a week because I wasn't attached to the result. I was attached to doing something I really liked to also reach my goal. So I hope that is some food for thought, a little bit of a different philosophy. Again, if you like this kind of approach, check out the journaling course. That first link in the description will give you a free journaling worksheet as well as every three days, a journaling story email about how I use journaling to improve my life. So if you resonate with that and you want to figure your life out and have more success, click the link there and check it out. And of course, my last two videos are right there and right there.